Elon Musk can help but talk about a heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, or HVAC, product that Tesla will be making for homes this time instead of cars. Fossil fuel burning cars are a core threat to the environment that Tesla is in the midst of tackling. Electric vehicles not only eliminate pollution, but also the cost of the owner of driving an EV is significantly lower than a gasoline powered vehicle. With on the order of six times lower fuel costs of electricity versus gasoline, and with decreased maintenance, the total cost of ownership is significantly lower for a Tesla versus other cars with similar sticker prices. Teslas have some bonus features as well, including a large HEPA filter, which removes toxins from the air. So with all of this expertise in vehicles, Tesla is planning to take some of these elements and more to build its upcoming home HVAC system. Let's have a look at the size and makeup of the current heating, ventilation, and air conditioning markets and how Tesla plans to completely disrupt the home energy space. Now today's video is sponsored by NordVPN. A VPN or virtual private network aims to protect your data by creating a secure tunnel that will hide and encrypt your information no matter where you're browsing the internet from. People spend a lot of money on house insurance to protect their homes, health insurance to protect their families, and car insurance to protect their vehicles, but most of the time they forget about the security and privacy of their own personal data. And so for an extremely low cost, and even lower with this Christmas special deal, get 68% off a two-year plan and get an additional four months free by going to nordvpn.org slash tmiotesla and use our coupon code tmiotesla at checkout. Also, one thing I really like about NordVPN is that you can select whichever country you want to browse the internet from. So if you're traveling in another country and you need to access the US version of YouTube, for example, you simply select your country of choice and the VPN will make your computer appear as though it's in that country. So NordVPN essentially gives you access to the global internet and makes it a piece of cake to change your IP address. So head on over to nordvpn.org slash tmiotesla and use our Christmas special promo code tmiotesla to get a two-year plan for the price of just a cup of coffee per month plus an incredible four months free. According to the U.S. Energy Information Administration, the average household in the U.S. spends about 12% of their entire home energy expenditures just on air conditioning. In warmer states, this number moves up to an astounding 27% of energy costs. That's about a third of all the energy used in a home for a year, just to try and keep it cool. Now in the US, about 60% of households use central AC and 23% use individual AC units. So there's a huge market for both of these products and 5% of households actually use both. That's for a total of just under 90% of the population using one type of air conditioning or another. In total, it's estimated that the global air conditioner market size is about $78 billion and is growing at around 10% per year. In countries such as China, air conditioning hasn't been as prevalent as it is in the US, at least not until the last 30 years. During that time period, China has gone from nearly nothing to an astounding 60% of their massive population using some form of AC. The energy needs for the country have multiplied, with dirty coal actually being their primary source of energy to power these electricity hogging machines. Now consider that India's population of 1.3 billion people is also beginning to ramp up air conditioning use. Only a meager 5% of the Indian population is currently using air conditioning. Imagine the burden on the electrical system and the excess amount of power required as the number of air conditioners doubles a few times over the years to come. Not to mention that India has a generally warmer climate and will result in heavy use of air conditioners. This presents rampant challenges as well as opportunities to address the increased demand for a viable solution. It's no wonder that Tesla CEO Elon Musk continues to hint that Tesla will soon get into the HVAC business. Elon has set up the company with the mission of ridding the world of fossil fuels and while Tesla specializes in making green electric vehicles, there is still a large and growing crisis for residential housing and commercial energy usage. Tesla has basically solved many of these issues for cars, but it's now time to apply their technology to another adjacent market. When Tesla develops a new product, they usually have a series of goals in mind. The first and foremost is that they're looking to get rid of fossil fuels. This is in line with Tesla's mission to transition the world to clean energy, and this energy must also be sustainable since we have limited fossil fuel reserves on the planet. Secondly, Tesla strives to provide a great product that's easy to use. And sometimes, if they're doing their job right, you won't even know that it's there. For example, the front airflow in the Model 3 is seamlessly hidden in the dash. And so for a home, being as integrated and hidden as possible 
creates more livable space. Third, there should be no sacrifices for going green. Actually, eliminating the cost of fuel and reducing the cost of electricity has been a byproduct of Tesla's vehicles, and the home will be the next frontier for which monthly operating costs will be reduced with Tesla's home products. And fourth, better technology and higher efficiency products usually start off with a higher cost, and when Tesla becomes more efficient in manufacturing such a product and scales up its production, which may take a couple of years, that's when even the one-time cost or the sticker prices start to come down as well. We're just beginning to see this for Tesla's vehicles, where not only is the cost of ownership extremely competitive with most cars, but now the sticker price is on par with most similar vehicles. Over time, Tesla's other products will follow similar trends. Now, in addition to air conditioning, the HVAC market comprises of heating systems as well. The EIA estimates that 47% of U.S. households use natural gas as their main heating fuel, and this is a market, or a fossil fuel, that Tesla clearly wants to go after. The market for heating systems is gigantic, estimated to be $170 billion globally spent each year. At the same time, 36% of U.S. households currently use electricity-based systems. In more moderate U.S. climates, about 12 million households actually use electric heat pumps. Historically, this approach has been used less in colder climates due to the high cost of electric heating. However, the EIA now states that due to recent advances in cold climate heat pump technology, it's become more practical in cold climate areas. And this is exactly where Tesla's heat pump technology could come into play. Tesla has vast expertise and a large team of engineers working on efficient energy solutions for their vehicles. In Tesla's Model Y, they have a compact and efficient heat pump, which has allowed for increased vehicle range thanks to its high efficiency even in cold climates. Tesla's solution, which is known as the Octavalve, is actually a central location in the vehicle which controls heating and cooling not only for the passengers, but for the battery and the motors. For example, the heat pump is capable of pulling heat from the motors and transferring it to the vehicle cabin. This is essentially what a heat pump does, transfers heat from one place to another. Tesla's compact solution effectively ensures that heat sources efficiently distribute their energy to where it's needed. If adapted for homes, this could improve heating and cooling effectiveness while reducing costs. At first, Tesla can focus on major items such as a home's furnace and central or portable air conditioner, but over time it's possible that Tesla could expand to support other appliances within the home. For instance, the oven and the dryer generate a lot of heat, which is usually dumped outside even in the wintertime. Harnessing this wasted energy could easily boost efficiency. Let's have a quick look at a typical home furnace and central AC, which are most common in the United States. The furnace is actually this box over here, which heats the air and blows it throughout the home. While the central heating system in this picture is located in the corner of the home, many builders put their furnaces as close to the middle of people's homes as possible to have more even air distribution. However, this usually takes up a lot of space, even though the furnace itself isn't that big, but has to connect to all of the ducts within the home. This tube over here is where the cold air return pulls in air from your home, it then passes through the furnace, gets heated up, and gets blown back to the rest of your house. The furnace also has a small air filter that usually sits right here and pulls out toxins from the air. I think there's opportunity for Tesla to simply make the furnace much smaller. You may say, well, that's not possible because the vents and ducts can't be any smaller. But my counter argument would be that there is no reason that the air needs to come all the way down to the floor and then all the way back up to the ceiling. If the entire furnace was small and light enough to be mounted on a ceiling or a wall, then it would free up an entire room in people's homes, adding more living space. The central air conditioner is also located right above the heating element. This space is normally just an empty tube, and that's where the AC is installed. Let's look inside the plenum or the empty tube above the furnace. The air conditioner is a V-shaped coil that cools the air that passes through. The coil contains a liquid refrigerant, which actually picks up the heat and the refrigerant turns to gas in the process. The refrigerant is then pumped to the outdoor unit where a compressor compresses it and the heat is simply blown away outside. Now the obvious thing to do is that Tesla could look at ways to make air conditioning more efficient. There already are very efficient air conditioners out there, however much of the time, the extra high cost for the device doesn't have a big impact on monthly utility bills and so many people opt to save a lot of the upfront costs and get a cheaper, less efficient air conditioner and pay slightly more on their monthly bills. However, the engineers at Tesla use a first principles approach 
and think what product would they want for themselves. And so far, in my opinion, it looks like Elon Musk is starting a war on regular utility bills. For example, buying a Tesla vehicle means that you no longer need to pay for gasoline at the pump, not to mention oil changes and less maintenance, etc. Instead, you charge from the comfort of your home at a fraction of the cost. Of course, your electricity bill may rise, but if that's the case, Tesla offers energy independence with their solar roof coupled with power wall batteries. It's a whole ecosystem. Now, although Tesla tries to cut the price down for its products, one way of looking at it is that for a slightly higher one-time fee, your long-term monthly payments become negligible. Therefore, if Tesla makes a foray into HVAC, I think they will look closely at removing other monthly expenses. Let's go back to this picture over here of the furnace inside the house. As we mentioned, the air conditioner works by taking the heat from inside the house and dumping it outside. However, it sounds inefficient to be wasting all of that heat energy even in the summertime. What could Tesla do with it? Again, Tesla's heat pump technology acts as a central location that manages heating and cooling sources and where the heating and cooling needs to go. One thing we didn't look at in this picture was the tankless hot water heater on the left. These typically run on natural gas, but Tesla could make use of the wasted heat from the air conditioner to make a more efficient electric hot water heater. This would not only contribute to a reduction in natural gas usage, but may be the final blow to eliminating the need for natural gas altogether if Tesla can heat the home using an electric heat pump. Normally, these three products, the furnace, the AC, and the hot water heater, are sold separately and involve three separate installations. So this is just one way that Tesla can look at combining multiple products into a single solution. And guys, if you're enjoying this video so far, please hit the like button. Also, stop using Yahoo Finance, stop using Google Finance, and have a look at our website, themarketisopen.com, where we have instant stock quotes and financial data going back nine years, and it's all freely available. Elon Musk has also dabbled with the idea of reusing the wastewater from air conditioner condensation. This water is normally just flushed down the drain. However, filtering and purifying this water to make it drinkable would be extremely useful where water is scarce or expensive. Even if this water was used as toilet water, it would cut down on water costs. Again, another way that Tesla could look at eating away at monthly utility bills. However, Tesla isn't stopping there. Back in 2018, Elon Musk brought up the HVAC idea with Joe Rogan. TV is no problem. Air conditioning. Air conditioning. Air conditioning, air, air conditioning oh. is, the, is the problem. If you have an efficient air conditioner and you don't, uh, and, and depending on how are you air conditioning rooms when they don't need to be air conditioned, which mm. is very common because it's right. a pain in the neck. You know, it's like programming a VCR. It's like, right. you know, it's just the blinking 12. So people are just like, the hell with that. I'm just going to make it this temperature all day long. Right. Um, they don't have a smart home where if you're in the room, then it stays cool. Right. Yeah. It should predict when you're going to be home uh, and then cool the room, the rooms that you're likely to use. You know, like if you could hook that into the car, like it knows you're coming home. Like there's no point mm, cooling the home, right. keeping the home, keeping the home, the home really cool when you're not there. Right. But it can tell that you're coming home. It's gonna cool it to the right temperature. Right. Do you when have you an get app there. that works with your solar panels or anything like that? Yeah, yeah, we do. And but we need to hook it into air conditioning to really make the air conditioning work. Have you thought about creating an air conditioning system? I know you have. <laughs> Cannot answer questions about future potential okay, products. Okay, let's just let it go. Tesla is also planning to integrate smart home features that can coordinate with their other products. They want the system to know when you get home and adjust the heating and cooling accordingly. Elon also mentioned that he wants to be able to heat and cool specific rooms using a bit of intelligence. I think for them to figure out which rooms need to be heated and cooled is not too difficult. This could also be controlled manually with the Tesla app. However, I think one major challenge will be the actual hardware installation and having a small electronic flap on every vent in an existing home. Now for a central heating and cooling system, every pipe in the home leads out of the furnace and so this could be installed close to the furnace. However, this challenge will be similar to the challenge with the solar roof and therefore Tesla will be installation constrained. They will need to hire and train teams of installers and it might be easier for them to start off with new homes where the homes are built with cookie cutters by builders as opposed to integrating the solution into an existing home where everyone's home might be different and have its own quirks. Moreover, one goal that Tesla has in mind is addressing air quality. People spend literally billions of dollars each year on air purifiers. $7.5 billion was spent in 2019 alone and according to President's research, 
This number is expected to double by 2027. Air purifiers remove toxins from the air and are beneficial to people with asthma and allergies. Elon Musk tweeted earlier this year that this is a way bigger deal than people think, and he's right. Allergies, for example, are uncomfortable and make it hard to breathe, which could also have a major effect on getting a good night's sleep. Inside Tesla's vehicles, specifically the Model S and X, Tesla includes a giant HEPA filter and a secondary air filter. These are high efficiency particulate air filters, HEPA filters, which can pull out allergens and toxins from the air. Quality of air is very important for people's health. One recent example is that due to the wildfires in California, many people were forced out of their homes due to the toxicity of the air. Tesla owners were better off going into their cars to keep safe thanks to the giant air filters included in the vehicles as part of the bioweapon defense mode. Within a minute or two, these filters quickly clean the air within the vehicle. Most homes are not equipped with such high efficiency filters and thus pollen and other allergens get blown throughout the home with forced air systems. This is a big opportunity for Tesla to integrate into its upcoming HVAC product and would remove the need to purchase separate air purifiers which could actually save customers money. Additionally, Tesla can sell replacement filters, which is a great business, sort of like the Razor Razor Blade model. For homes. Oh, oh, you mean like the home HVAC? Um, yeah, that, I mean, that's a pet project that I'd love to get going on. Um, I don't know, maybe we'll start, start working on that next year. Because um, I just think this, man, you could really make a way better home HVAC system that's really quiet and super efficient and, uh, yeah, super energy efficient and also has like a, you know, a way better filter, uh, you know, for particles and um, uh, yeah, just and, and it works uh, very reliably. And and there, we've already developed that for the car. Like so, the the heat pump uh, in the Model Y uh, is really pretty spectacular. Uh, I mean, it's tiny, it's efficient, it it has to last for 15 years. Uh, it's got to work in all kinds of conditions, from from you know, the coldest winter to the hottest summer. Um, so we've actually already done a massive amount of the work necessary for uh, a really kick-ass home HVAC. Um, and they could also like stack them. So if you want to say, uh, depending upon the size of your house or whatever, how much you need, you can just, you can just basically stack them um, and uh, yeah, just have a very compelling, super efficient home HVAC. And then you could also uh, communicate with the car and it'll, it'll know when you're coming home. So it's like, oh, I, I don't need to keep the house cold all day. I just, you know, keep, cool it down because I knew you were coming home. Um, so the, the pack can communicate with the car and just like really dial it into when you actually need cooling and heating. Elon Musk says that he and the team at Tesla may start working on a home HVAC system as early as next year. And he's quite confident that he can develop a reliable and quiet system that's significantly better than existing HVAC systems. Depending on the size of the home, this upcoming HVAC that Elon Musk has clearly already thought out will be stackable, similar to Tesla's Powerwall batteries. By putting more of them together, they can be more powerful and have more capacity for heating or cooling larger homes. This is extremely important and should be emphasized and not be overlooked. In order to lower costs and hit the mass market, Tesla needs to design its products to be highly manufacturable. An HVAC system that's stackable, or rather modular, may be a better term, like many of Tesla's other products, that means Tesla only needs to manufacture a single product. For example, if Tesla's HVAC unit is equivalent to a one-ton air conditioner, you simply need to join four of them together to get a four-ton air conditioner. This is very different from other manufacturers who sell one of every type and size and flavor product. Tesla focusing on one thing makes it easier to manage and much cheaper and easier to manufacture at scale. The overall HVAC market, according to Statista, was $240 billion in size in 2019 and is estimated to grow to $367 billion by 2030. This reflects a 3.9% annual growth rate. With regards to Tesla, it's important to know that with their HVAC product, they would be entering a large and growing market. However, I believe that Tesla can actually expand this market by offering something new and innovative that the market hasn't really seen before, and they could charge a premium for it. For example, if Tesla combines other features in the home such as a hot water heater, air purifier, water filtration, and smart capabilities into their offering, then the addressable market actually expands, meaning that Tesla could make more money for each product they sell, but this still saves customers money and the hassle of buying many separate products that can't coordinate with each other.
Furthermore, Tesla can sell accessories and also software and services, which can also expand the market and make Tesla's business less comparable to traditional players in the space. Overall, the HVAC market is a huge playing field for Tesla to disrupt and is perfectly in line with Tesla's mission of ending fossil fuels and at the same time, bringing their customers closer to energy independence. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to check out our latest video on seven quotes or key principles that Elon Musk follows to succeed against all odds. Also, don't forget to look at the description for NordVPN's Christmas special promo codes. Please hit the like button on this video. We'd super appreciate that. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified of upcoming Tesla content.